All right, here we go. We've got the Lisa Fiola Cup and Tasha Gale uh, previews for week one of the final series. Um, you'll be seeing this on the Friday afternoon uh, and yesterday for the guys watching it, guys and girls watching at home. Um, I will have released the Howard Matthews and SG Ball uh, finals preview, so make sure you go and watch that if you haven't already. Um, but what we've got here... Uh, is the women's side of the uh, New South Wales Rugby League competitions. Tasha Gale, I'll start off with first. You've got the third v six matchup of the Indigenous Academy Roosters and the uh, Cronulla Sharks. And this is actually going to be a really, really interesting matchup because we've got a Indigenous Academy side and this game is on the Sunday at Leichhardt. Um, at 2.45. But yeah, this Indigenous Academy side, they looked unbeatable through the first couple of um, uh, weeks of this competition. Then they uh, had a little hiccup against the Steelers. So the Steelers actually put them away and now they find themselves in a do or die match against one of the most exciting attacking teams in the comp on their day. Um, the Cronella Sharks, they've got out the back tier Jordan Vasilovsky and then the halves Olivia Herman, who have caused absolute havoc. Um, and then their front rower, Coretti uh, Leilua who has been super this year, uh, try scoring forward and creates plenty of opportunities. So if their attack can fire, they can certainly put a big dent in this competition and go deep. Uh, but this Indigenous Academy side, it is stacked top to bottom. Uh, you got out the back, Tyra Akapati, who's been really good. Um, Elizabeth McGregor in the centres. She looks like a superstar. Sienna May Montgomery, um, she's been good in the halves. Georgie Barrett's coming in for Leilana May Montgomery. Uh, but that will be... Good to see how they sort of work there, uh, those two halves. And then they've also got uh, missing Alia Nasio, who's signed to the NRLW side in a top 30 contract for next season, which that which that's a big out for them, um, but they do have a pretty star-studded lineup. And then the other game for Tasha Gale, I'll just quickly preview that as well. That's Seagulls and Knights. That's on the Saturday at Leichhardt. Uh, this is fourth v fifth, a Seagulls side, which put pay to their early opposition and then have had a couple of draws and they've got, come into this game only having lost one game. So they've been really good. Um, I think they've been led by their skipper, Lily Boyle, really well. That's the lock forward for them. Um, and then the Knights, they've got a really good side too. They, they're pretty strong attacking side. Their one through the five has scored plenty of tries this year, um, and they've got a really good forward pack too. So um, if their forward pack can get on a roll, they'll be really tough to stop. But I'll quickly go over now to the Lisa Fiola, do a quick preview of those two games as well. Uh, you've got the Central Coast Roosters, who have got a great attacking side. Their fullback, Ellen Nows, uh, looks like a star uh, to my eye. Um, and then their centre as well, Brianna Begeni. Um, apologies if I'm uh, pronouncing anything wrong, uh, but th those two uh, look like proper athletes um, and really good footballers. And then uh, across the other side, West Tigers, May Fuimiono, uh, looks like a really strong forward for them. And Ellie Barnett, their skipper and their halfback, uh, absolute star, probably one of the best players in this competition, in my opinion. Um, and then also, I just wanted another one that I want to touch on, their back rower. Apologies if I pronounce this wrong, but Luciana Luamanu uh, Leotawa. Uh, um, she's also looks looks pretty good in the games that I've seen. So, um that will be a good game to watch between those two sides. And then Eels v Knights. Both of these games are on the Saturday, by the way. Um, Eels v Knights. The Eels uh, started off a little bit slowly, but they've really come into their own. They look like a really solid side, and they're actually missing a couple of uh, players that I think are stars. Uh, Jasmine Rorani's out, who I thought has been one of their best all year. Uh, but they've got a strong side regardless. Their forward pack in particular is really good. Daniel Seckold, the back rower, uh, Fontaine Tafunga, um, and Bailey Marchong. Uh, apologies again if I'm, if I'm pronouncing anything wrong, but they look like really good players. Um, and then you look across at the Knights, uh, their standout uh, pr proper highlights real player is uh, Macy Cox. Um, she's been really good this year uh, to my eye. And then off the bench, Mackenzie Nelson, I thought she's been pretty good as well in the couple of games that I've watched. So um, that will be interesting to see. But what I did last uh, with the other preview, I'll do it again here. Top five players to watch um, for each competition. Um, for the Tasha Gale 
my top five players to watch. I'll start off here. Eva McEwen. Um, I think she's the uh, sister to Jermaine McEwen, who I touched on in the other game. I think sister. I know they're definitely related. Um, but she's been a star. She actually plays really similarly to her brother. Really hard running uh, back rower. And uh, really powerful, powerful forward in general. Really good getting them on the uh, go forward. And then Tyra Ekapati touched on her just briefly before. Um, she's really good out of the back of shape. Give her a three on two and she'll most likely score or set someone up. Uh, when she inserts herself into the game, she's pretty hard to stop. And she's also one of those ones that has an NRLW contract for 2025, I believe, um, in that top 30. So that's one to watch. And I did post on the Instagram as well about her and a highlights reel attached if you want to go check that out. Um, her teammate, Elizabeth McGregor, I think she looks like a star as well. Um, really good in that center position, creates a lot of attack for them, is a strike weapon out there, scores, tries, and sets them up. Um, she'll be crucial to them uh, in terms of scoring points, as she has been all year. Um, and then for the Sharks, it was a toss-up between their seven and their fullback, uh, Olivia Herman and Tia jordan Vasilovsky. I did pick Olivia Herman, and I did do a post on Tia as well, um, if you want to go and check that out and sort of see uh, how she goes. But Olivia Herman, really crafty halfback, does a lot of their attack for them, um, has a good passing game, really crafty passing game, so... She'll be one to watch. And then for Manly, I think their standout player is Lily Boyle, from what I've seen. Um, she's just a really all-round good footballer. She's playing in that lock position, good tackler, good passer. She's even got a kicking game. Um, she set up a try against the Knights, who they actually come against, come up against this weekend, um, where she put a kick in over the top, and then they ended up scoring off it. So she's a real good all-round footballer, Lily Boyle. So I'm keen to see how she goes this weekend as well. Um, and then I'll go across to the Lisa Fiola, um, to my top five players to watch. Ella Nows, I touched on her before. She just looks like a footballer, really quick, um, punches into holes and uh, creates plenty of scoring opportunities uh, for the Central Coast Roosters. And the next one for me, Ellie Barnett, uh, really just good all-around halfback. Um, creates plenty of opportunities. She plays like an Oz tag player a little bit too. Like she, she got a good uh, step, um, good right to left sort of step, and then a good passing game as well from what I've seen. So um, she looks like a really talented player. Uh, Bailey Ma Chong for the Parramatta Eels, the hooker. She's come off the bench in the games that I've watched, but she's provided a real spark for them and creates plenty of attack. So I think she's one that uh, you probably need to keep a close eye on uh, this weekend. And then uh, Fontaine Tafanga, um, oh, she's just a really talented, really strong footballer, um, plenty of good carries, and then breaks the line too. Like a, a lot of front rowers, you'll see them and they they break the they push the line back, but she gets through it. Um, she actually got a little bit of a passing game on her as well too. She's a bit of a talented ball player. She's played a little bit of lock this year as well. Um, so yeah, just a talented footballer. And the last one, Macy Cox, just a walking highlight reel. Really, she had a insane try um, a couple of weeks back. I think it was against. I think it was actually against Manly as well, or maybe it was a week before. But um, she stepped through about seven uh, defenders and then out sprinted the fullback to get to the line. It was an insane highlight. Um, so she looks like a really good player as well. Uh, but that's it for my uh, top five players to watch in both competitions. It wasn't as in-depth as the Howard Matthews SG ball, mainly because I just don't get the opportunity to watch as much of it. Um, but... Uh, make sure you get out to Leichhardt this weekend. There's plenty of footy action. It's all day Saturday, all day Sunday. I'll be out there for every game and providing in-depth coverage on my Instagram. So make sure you follow that at the shortball underscore. Uh, but thanks for watching this video once again.